in the co-main event, welterweight division at UFC Vegas 92. You got Chaos Williams coming in 14 and 3, taking on Carlson Harris, who's 19 and 5, looking for his 20th professional win. Both guys six feet tall. Chaos right in the prime at 30 years old. He's getting better every time. Harris, he's 36, so he's out of the prime and getting older, but a lot of experience. Chaos, one inch reach advantage. Both guys staying right handed. Chaos, much more active on the feet, 5.8. Significant strikes per minute to three per minute for Harris. So that's an advantage for Chaos, but he's got to be able to defend the takedowns because Harris can land like two every three rounds. So look for him to get two or three in this fight. Chaos won a split decision in his last fight against Rolando Bedoya. Before that, he lost to Rude Boy, Randy Brown, by split decision. That's not a bad loss, right, because Randy Brown's pretty good. Uh, Chaos, before that, won two in a row against Miguel Beza. KO, and a decision over Matthew Semmelsberger, who's won three of the last four. Harris, 55% takedown defense. Shouldn't matter here, but he's got wins over Jeremiah Wells by submission and Jared Gooden by decision. He did lose to Shavkat by first-round KO, which you'd expect. Before that, he KO'd Impa Kasanganai and uh, had a submission over Christian Aguilera. So he's very well-rounded. Very well-rounded. And this is a tough one because it's almost a 50-50 toss-up. I'm a big Chaos Williams fan. I think he's getting better every time. So regardless of what you saw in the last fight, he's going to be better in this fight. That's how it's going to go for the next uh, six to eight fights over the next three or four years before he slows down. So I look for him to be better. I'm banking on that. I like him to get the win here uh, by decision, maybe KO. He's got to defend the takedowns, though. Look out for that to move to 15-3, and three, welterweight division, co-main event. UFC Vegas 92.